Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe Young and I am a young mum to two beautiful babies, Heidi who is three and Blake who is nine months. Today it is pretty fitting to be kicking off my United in Motherhood series at the Business Chicks 9 to 5 event interviewing the unstoppable Emma Isaac. Emma is the global founder of Business Chicks Australia and we're here today at 9 to Thrive which is an event that is very close to my heart as I started it back with Em in 2015. Emma is mama to five beautiful babies who are all home birth which is absolutely crazy to me considering I am a very big advocate of the epidural. Emma is a best-selling author and is currently writing her second book in LA where she's uplifted and moved her whole family to launch the US arm of the business. Emma is the ultimate entrepreneur and I'm so lucky to not only have her as my boss, but now as one of my very best friends. So you might be asking, what is the United in Motherhood series? It is a series that will sit on my channel right here every Sunday at 7 p.m. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications and I'll be interviewing some amazing women within my life who are all mums. Some of the women you may know from social media or within the media world and some of them you may have never heard of. They're all women that are special to me and have beautiful stories that deserve to be heard and I'm so excited to bring them here to you for the next eight weeks on my channel through the United in Motherhood series. We are very pressed for time today as Emma is essentially the face of this event so we have 10 minutes to sit down and interview the unstoppable Emma Isaacs. Let's get to it. So we're sitting down with the beautiful Em. I've already done your introduction. Don't worry, we're good to go. And like I said, Em is a mama to five beautiful babies. Let's see if I can get it right. Miller, Honey, Indy, Riley, and Piper. Well done. Is that correct? <laughs> that That's takes correct. Skills. <laughs> and all of them were birthed at home, no pain relief. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your home birthing journey I guess. Oh, I mean I never was someone who was completely maternal and wanted to have this huge family it just I met my husband we fell in love. I, I love her husband. Yeah he's, he's great. He's the best. <laughs> he's great um, and then I fell pregnant and I quickly realized that I'd need to work out how to get the baby out you know and I suppose I just started this journey of educating myself watching a whole lot of videos going to courses trying to understand the physiology of birth and the psychology of birth like every and new mum. Yeah, Googling exactly. We all, yeah, we Google yep. everything and we try and understand. We try to look for role models and inspiration. And I went along to this uh, calm birth course and I heard about different options for birthing. And I remember going home to my husband that night and saying, I think we can have a natural birth. I think we can do this. And oh his idea of birth was that you went, checked into a hospital, you had the blue sheet. He's like, I'm, I'm going to be north of that blue sheet. My type of birth. That's <laughs> no. my type of birth. He's like, I do not do blood and all that sort of stuff. And so. From there, we just, um, you know, really fell in love with the idea of having a birth for us that was felt safe and felt like, you know, something we could control and contribute to and, and you do had powerfully. You your, your support crew with you, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, we've always had uh, wonderful midwives, we've had wonderful doulas, we've had a photographer at a couple of the births, my mum um, likes to be the there. Best. Yeah. And so now, with your last birth, you had the girls there, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I had the, the four older kids were there at the last birth, and that was really beautiful. Um, Miller, who was about eight at the time, would give me little massages and say, you're doing great. And oh my gosh. She's yeah, so that was really special for the kids to experience that and um, you know please god there might be more and they'll all get in on the action so there might be more i don't know we'll you're see. not done <laughs> i don't know oh, we'll, see. Rowan. we'll see we never really planned any of them so yeah you know well you're my inspo i've always said i want five plus kids so I can do like it. You, how, whatever you end up on i'm going to try and follow <laughs> if i'm blessed beat enough me. you can beat if me if i'm blessed enough to have beautiful babies but um if someone was thinking of having a home birth what's your advice to them oh, look, my, my advice would be 
to really just educate yourself. It's to surround yourself with, like, like in business, right? It's about surrounding yourself with people who support your ideals. Um, you know, I'm not, I, I, my choices have been home birth and I can't imagine birthing any other way. It's given me so much and it's been the most incredible experience, but it's, it's not for everyone. Um, I always say that you should birth where you feel most safe, you know, and for me that was at home um, and that's why I chose that. But it's really just about, you know, wherever you choose to birth, you should do your research, you should feel comfortable with your caregivers. Um, you know, what I loved about it was I got to choose my midwife and <laughs> got a little bit of a uh, party going on. Right in the event. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, I fell in love with my midwife and she's become a really, really good friend. And so I felt very, very safe with her. So that's yeah. how um, I came to that decision. But I just say, do your research, get the right people around you, choose your care if it's really well. And that's the advice you gave to me as well. Because I remember you told me about the calm birthing class. You said, it's there if you want to go. Here's the contact details. And I love that you're so open to everyone, not just in birth, but in life. You're such an open book, which I love about that. But now to the business side of things. So you are the ultimate entrepreneur, not just to me, but just so many other women out there so I'd like to know a little bit more about your business journey how did business chicks come about your story you could tell that I guess. story <laughs> I know I know that's my next question is what is business chicks so we can kind of do it both I guess yeah I mean the thing is I've had a bit of a back to front career I, I've never worked for anyone else apart from a casual job while I was at school and I took out of uni after six months it just wasn't going fast enough for me uh-huh um, and I started working at a little recruitment company, bought into that company um, and ended up growing that company for about seven years before exiting and then I bought Business Chicks and um, I spent the last really 13 or so years of my life growing this organisation and loving every minute and I feel like I'm just getting started, you know, I feel like we're just warming up right now. I agree with that 100%, yeah. I feel like there's so many exciting things coming. Emma is an ideas woman and now I think the team behind everyone it's just all coming to life which is so incredible mm. um, I think the question that you get asked a lot but I'm gonna ask it again <laughs> is how do you do it you've got a husband five kids you're writing your second book you've had a best-selling book that completely sold out how many print copies have you done uh, we're up to the ninth reprint now that is insane know, it's, it's been great how do you do it how do you make it all happen uh, it starts with this right so it starts with trying to have a positive mindset around everything um, I'm I'm not someone to wallow. I'm not someone to. You get it done. I just get it you done. Get it done. I, I just try and be positive. I try and wake up every day and put a smile on my face. It's not to say it's easy at all, but it's all about trying to tackle problems and find solutions. And it comes back to what we were saying before about having the right people around you. Yeah. So I, I do have a great crew in my home that help me with the stuff that I don't want to be doing. Um, yeah. You know, I have the most extraordinary team in the business and um, that's how we're able to get through the massive amount of work we're able to get through. And my husband, poor thing, gets the drags at the end of the day. <laughs> but he really, loves it. That's good. We're, we're a really good team. And we're, he's got an entrepreneurial mind as well. So I feel like he gets you. Yeah. Like some people probably wouldn't, but he, he totally gets you and he's so supportive. And I love that about you. I feel like everyone in your village that's close to you, just understand the way you do things. The kids come to a lot of things as well. Like they're, right. they're always they're in the office, they're at events. Now that Miller's getting older, she's yeah. coming out doing more things with you. And one of the things I love, which I've seen more across your Instagram, is you do a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with right. your kids, which is pretty cool to be able to do considering you have five. Yeah. <laughs> five kids, which is nuts. Um, so your first book, Winging It, um, which we've spoken about it a little bit, you're very raw and real about not having everything together all the time. Right. So can you share a story, I guess, where the wheels might have fallen off or where something hasn't gone to plan? Is that every day? Oh, I mean, not, yeah, I mean, it is every day, of course, every day. There's never really, a, I mean, there are moments where I think I've got this all together and it's going really well and we should have five more kids. And there's mostly, most of the time I'm rocking in the corner thinking, what am I How doing? Am I doing How am I gonna do this? Um, How is it all gonna work out? But I mean, you know, right now I'm in Sydney. I live in Los Angeles. Um, I flew in yesterday, I'll fly back home to LA. We have 10 minutes of her time. <laughs> no, She's literally so the I wish face I had, of like, this event. So much She's, more. You're amazing though. Because no, no, no. You work, you get it done, but you're not far away from your family for that long. Really. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? The older they get, the more I hate being away from them. So I'm really conscious of that. But it's my daughter's sixth birthday on Saturday, and I've missed her birthday for the last three years. And I'm <laughs> Didn't so you do a fault, like you pretended when she was younger? Yeah, so they we didn't always know, their which birthdays. is so good because they don't know as long as you're I there. Know, but they're 
came to the stage now where they, they know. It's my birthday. <laughs> I know, you missed my birthday. So, so that's, you know, the wheels are falling off in that I will yeah. get home late on Saturday night. I'll do a birthday party for 50 kids on Sunday um, oh my on jet lag. But getting it done. You're amazing. Yeah. You're We're actually amazing. amazing. So advice to mums or women in general who might be in a career they're not loving or they're a new mum and they want to start a side hustle, what is your advice to someone that's looking for that next step, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I'd say my advice is ubiquitous for whether you're a new mum or whether you're in a career. It's really about checking in and thinking about what's important to you and it's really about, you know, we can take all the advice that we want from the world and yeah. we're influenced by so many different people and so many different um you know, platforms these days, it's really about just looking inside and saying, what do I want? What do I need? And how can I go about getting that? Instead of looking out, asking everyone else, what should I do? What's your advice for me? It's really about what's important to me in this moment. Is it more important for me to be with my children or is it more important for me to progress my career? And just really checking in with that and having honest conversations with yourself always. I love that. I think we're going to end it on that note. A little bit of advice out to you guys from the Isaacs, which is invaluable. <laughs> I love this woman. She's like a second mum to me not that you're old enough to be my mum <laughs> kind of <am>. kind of <laughs> but I just said backstage to one of the talent actually I said I was more nervous to tell Emma that I was pregnant because I was so invested in my career and business chicks than I was to tell my own parents mm -hmm. and you handled it like a legend you've supported me you've created my career and I'm so grateful to you for everything that you've given me so oh, we're the lucky you. ones I love you I love you oh, and nice. Emma Isaacs everyone thank you yay <laughs> thanks guys Thank you.